Now, after almost 50 years in Plymouth, ITV has broadcast its final programme from the city tonight. The company's merging its news operations to save money. From next week, ITV news bulletins for the South West will come from studios in Bristol. Well, I've been taking a look back at the history of independent television in the region. <laughs> Local commercial television started in the southwest in 1961. It was the beginning of a pioneering age of technology, and from purpose-built studios at Derry's Cross in Plymouth, Westward Television soon became a much-loved service. That was mostly down to the on-screen personalities. In-vision announcers between programmes helped to cement the relationship with the audience, with a little help from a cheeky rabbit called Gus Honeybun. Many of those early faces went on to become household names. Westwood, I think I'm right in saying, had the, the biggest viewer acceptance of any ITV station throughout the whole of the country. More people recognised Westwood Television as being their ITV local station than they did in Granada or Anglia or any of the other big ITV centres. But in the early 1980s, after 20 years on air, Westwood lost the franchise to a new company. Although viewers had to get used to a new name, the transition to TSW was helped by the fact many of the familiar faces from Westwood continued to appear on screen. TSW was a great part of the community. We were all part of the county fairs, we reported the news. We were basically, as somebody once said, you are part of the television set, you're part of the fixtures and fittings of the house. But in the early 1990s, much to the shock of everyone at TSW, the company lost the franchise. It challenged the decision in the courts, but lost and handed the ITV airwaves to West Country. Its style was very different. No InVision announcers between programmes and no Gus Honeybun. It was ambitious, though, with local bulletins for different parts of the region. Some people said that's going to be parish pump, far too small, people won't be interested. And it turned out to be one of the most popular things that we did. In recent years, ITV West Country has won numerous awards for its news coverage, but that wasn't enough to save it. In the last few minutes, the final programme was broadcast from Plymouth. From next week, ITV news bulletins for the South West will come from Bristol, marking the end of 48 years of ITV programme making in the region. Many of those early faces inspired me to take up a career in television. And next week, our Inside Out programme will be taking a more detailed look back at the history of ITV in the South West. That's Inside Out next Wednesday at 7.30 here on BBC One.